right, in this one, the question was, how do I do like a short-term sprint um, and, and then be able to sort of like lose my sprint ability after a second or something like that and then build that sprint ability back up over time? That was, that was the question. So we're going to do a really easy example of um, moving this little star around and if you have the shift button pressed, you will um, deplete your sprint speed and you'll go faster. Um, and if you have, um, uh, if you don't have it pressed, then you will build up your, your sprint speed. So um, this is just an empty 2D project. Um, I put in a main camera and I'll change this to white. And I'm going to go a little bit um, fast through parts of this only because a lot of this we've covered in different tutorials. So um, if this is going a little bit quick, maybe you should look back um, through some of the tutorials to figure out how we did inputs and things like this. But this will be our star controller. And I'll put it on our star. And we're just going to have this thing move right just for simplicity's sake. So um, let's say public float speed and public float sprint speed. So these are two variables we'll put, um, we'll, we'll um, assign inside of Unity once we get going. And then inside of here we will say if input dot get key down, or get key, key code, oops, dot right arrow. Um, then we will say uh, that we need to increment our, our position. So uh, vector2, and we've done this a million times, position equals transform dot position, and then transform dot x plus equals speed. And this, let's just run this and see what happens, make sure that things are going okay. Here's our guy, oh boy. We want to say position going too fast. Position dot x plus equals speed, and then transform dot position equals position like this. All right, and then if we run, oh, we have to set our speed. Let's make it point one. So it's going that fast. All right, now let's make him sprint. So let's say if um, the right arrow is pressed, um, then we want to also do another check and we'll say if um, the shift key is pressed, input dot get key, key code dot left shift, else this. So we will say um, if the right arrow is down and the left shift is down, then we're going to go increment our x by sprint speed. And let's go back and see. Here's our sprint speed. Let's make it 0 0.2. And if I run shift, we can see it accelerate. So um, this is how we can do our you know, sprinting. Uh, but the question, that was only part of the question, though, um, you know, how do I do sprinting, um, but also have some sort of limitation to it? And so that's what we'll do right now. We'll put that in here. And there's different ways you can do this. Um, I'm doing it the easy way, um, which is our measurement of the amount of sprint that we have left is based on frame updates. So right now we will say, um, uh, let's just say we will do it for, we're doing it 60 frames a second. So let's just say our max, uh, max um, sprint duration equals 30. That's going to be 30 frames. Um, and then we'll have another variable that's going to be internal to this, which is our sprint left remaining equals 30. Let's initialize it to 30. And if we come in here and we're using some, so this is when we're using some of our sprint, then we will say something like sprint remaining minus equals one. We'll just take away one unit. Um, and let's see. 
the other thing that we want to do is we want to, if we're not holding shift, we want to increment our um, sprint remaining uh, by one because we want to build it up over time. So we come in here, we're saying if we've got the right arrow pressed and if the left shift is pressed, then we're going to go by sprint. But we also want to do one more change here to say that um, and sprint remaining is greater than zero, right? So we put this and in here to double, just double check and make sure that we can sprint. Um, then we're going to decrement it and go through here. So this should give us, the way this is structured, we're going to come in here, we're going to start out with um, 30 units of sprint, which should give us about a half a second. And, um, and this is going to count down as we come through here when we're sprinting. So let's see if this actually works. This isn't going to include the buildup, but it should only allow us to go for half a second. See how that works? So let me do it again. Hold down shift, and then it stops after about a half a second. So we drained all of our, our kind of our stamina. There it goes. So I'm not doing anything. Now I can do, um, you know, it's every time that shift button is held down, it starts decrementing. Um, and that's that's how we can do that. Now we probably could put some kind of text on the screen and maybe we'll do that in a second. Actually, let's just do that now. Let's say, um, let's create some text. Text object and we'll call it sprint. Um, let's redo our canvas here like we always do. Move our main camera in and you know, we've done this text stuff before so um, if that's new, maybe look up some of the tutorials. And this thing here um, is just going to be the number. I, I'm not going to make it look too fancy, uh, but we'll start out at 30 because that's our max, um, our max sprint. And then um, inside of here, we were going to um, update that. So we'll using Unity Engine, oops, dot UI, and we'll have a public text. Um, Sprint remaining text. And then every time we're adjusting sprint remaining, we can say sprint remaining text dot text equals sprint remaining. All right. And then if we go back to Unity, we can align all that stuff up. So where is, oh, doesn't want to convert this int. So we can just add a dot. To string. There. Now it'll be happier. Makes sense, right? Sprint remaining is an int. This is a text field, so let's convert it to a string. Happy. And where's our text? It's right here. And if I hit go, as I hold down shift, we see it drain. And then now it's at zero. So the other thing we want to do is we want to build this thing up over time to our max um, if we're not holding the shift key down. So we can we can say something like if not input dot or I think we can say the way we do that is input dot get key. Yeah, we want to do this. Not input dot get key key code dot shift left shift uh, and Sprint remaining is less than max sprint duration. Then we come in here and we can say sprint remaining plus plus. Right? So if the, lift, the left shift key, which is our magic key for sprinting, is not down um, and our sprint remaining is less than our max, then we can build it up. And let's just update our text as well. So if we're going, we drain it. As soon as I let go, it goes back up. Let's play it again. So we're at max. I drain it all. I let go, it goes back up. And now we can go. So yeah, we should make this a lot nicer looking. Um, maybe give some indication on the screen as far as what's happening. Maybe the build up rate is a little bit um, slower than the drain rate. Um, you know, who knows how you want it to work, but this is one way of, of doing it. 
Um, maybe you want it longer than a second. Maybe you want to do it by um, by time um, and not necessarily by frame updates. You know, this update loop is not guaranteed to be at the same rate all the time. So um, this could be a little bit strange if all of a sudden your game starts running at 120 frames per second or if it goes down and starts running at 30 frames per second, it's going to behave differently. So you probably want to do this, you know, time-based as opposed to these little ticks we're doing inside of the update loop. Um, but it's all the same, you know, in theory, it's all the same the same thing, anyways. It's just um, deciding where to do this little check at. You could do it in a in a you know a ten millisecond timer. Um, same with this one, or you can do it inside of this update loop. You know what? However you want to do it, works fine. Um, but just keep in mind if you do do it this way, and then all of a sudden you start messing with your frame rate, you're going to get different behavior. But this is one way to do it, and I think it answers the question.